In this video, what I'm going to do is show some differences between the two more popular Makarov chambered handguns out on the surplus market. What you see on the left is a Bulgarian clone of the original Russian Makarov. This is a Bulgarian Circle 10 clone. It's pretty much an exact clone of the original Makarov. Of course, this particular one, I've got the target grips on it, but I do have the standard uh, brown star grips that come with these. Um, a really good clone out there. If you're not able to get an actual Russian Makarov, this is exactly like it. And it's very high quality, very durable. On the right, you have a CZ82, and this is a also a 9 by 18 millimeter Makarov. This comes from the Czech Republic, and very high quality surplus gun. Some people call it the VZ82, depending on what circles you're coming, uh, you're running with. Now, both of these handguns are in the same price range. You're looking at $200 to $300, at least in my area, for one of these handguns. So you don't have to worry about one being more expensive than the other. They're extremely similar, being that they're both chambered 9x18mm Makarov. They're both blowback operated handguns, and they both disassemble the same. But there are some key differences, and I wanted to just go over the differences, so that way, if you're wanting to know what differences these handguns have, what sets one apart from the other, you can use this video as kind of a quick reference tool uh, if you're in the market for one of these. They're both excellent handguns. Uh, this isn't more. This isn't a video that's going to say, well, this one's better or this one's better. They're both awesome handguns. Just wanted to go over the differences real quick with you. So to start off, here's the Bulgarian model. Very basic model. Again, it's chambered after the nine. Uh, excuse me, the uh, Russian nine by eighteen Makarov. There's your slide stop, slide release right here. Very basic functioning, but it works. Your magazine release is down here. This is a, a heel style magazine release. So some people don't like these, but uh, with a little bit of practice, you can actuate it pretty uh, quickly. The safety is a decock safety, and it's located on the uh, slide, as you can see here. Here it is in the fire. Press up to decock. And when it's in the up position, it pretty much locks the gun up. Can't cycle it, can't do anything until put it on fire, then you have a double action pull or rack the slide for that single action. Trigger pull, nice, crisp, and consistent. It's not the best trigger pull on the planet, but uh, pretty good as far as surplus standards. You saw my range video with this one and the uh, CZ82, both very accurate handguns, so you can definitely shoot these well. And just as another note, when you look at the machine work, basic surplus style machine work, pretty much this pistol is a representation of utility. You just put on there what you need and nothing else. So there's the Bulgarian Makarov clone between $200 and $300. The magazine capacity is an 8 plus 1 single stack. So 8 rounds in the magazine plus 1 in the pipe. You can have 9 rounds single stack uh, magazines. So next up, here is a CZ82. As you can see right off the bat, you can see it's a little more refined. Basically what the Czechs did is they took this handgun, refined it into this handgun. You see your slide stop slide release is a little bit more ergonomic in my opinion. There's a little bit more there to actuate that slide. The safety is not a decock safety. You can see I can't push it down, push it up. It's a 1911 style safety, thumb brake safety, as you can see right there. Very crisp when it's in the up position. See the hammer's not going anywhere. And then, of course, when you put it in the down position, the handgun will fire. It's a double action, single action, just like the uh, Bulgarian Mac. So no surprise there. The only way to drop the hammer, in fact, on this model is if you have it in the off safe, Hold the hammer, depress the trigger. As soon as the hammer starts to fall, let off the trigger, and then it'll go into almost a half cock of sorts. Um, or not really a half cock. Basically how this works is there's a little uh, safety in there, kind of a drop safety, so that way if you drop it, it won't necessarily go off. Um, I can't vouch for it. Uh, I've never dropped one of these on the pavement right on the hammer, but just by looking at it, there's no way that this hammer is going to actuate the firing pin unless, let's see if I can show you here, 
you can see how the hammer stops. What I'll do is I'll squeeze the trigger and hold it back. You can see with the trigger release or the trigger squeezed, there the hammer's traveling all the way forward like so. And you can see how it stops. It's kind of a little internal safety there. Ambidextrous right here. That's another difference between the two. This is not ambidextrous, the Bulgarian, but this one is. There's the safety. Magazine release is more of a traditional Western style magazine release here that's also ambidextrous. And you can see just the general design of the slide. There's not as much material on the slide. The sights are a little bit more pronounced on this model. What I'll do is I'll compare. I'll show you both the sights here. Here's the VZ52 or 82 sights right here. And then here's the MAC sights. Sights are a little bit better on this one. And your port here. You can see both external extractors right here. This is a little bit more of a beefy extractor, a little bit more of an open port here, ejection port, versus the um, standard Bulgarian Makarov. You can see there's a comparison there. And just the grip itself is a little bit wider. There's a little bit more ergonomics with the grip. Uh, and that's mostly because of the double, uh, double stack capacity. This is a 12 plus 1, 12 rounds in the magazine, plus 1 in the chamber for a total of 13. So you've got 9 rounds total, 13 rounds. Accuracy is the same, takedown is the same, internals are very, very close. There's a little bit of a difference of internals between this one and this one, but it's inconsequential in my opinion. Um, another quick difference is this has an integral uh, for a lanyard loop right here. This one doesn't have it with this grip, but if I put the standard uh, brown star grips on here, there is a lanyard loop on the grips itself. So there are some quick differences between the two. Um, one isn't better than the other. Um, I will say in all honesty, the CZ82 does have a little bit better ergonomics, but as far as operation, you've seen in my uh, range video with these two, they both perform. I tend to shoot the CZ82 just a little bit better, but uh, I think that's just because I got more trigger time with that thing versus the Mac at this point. Uh, I'm going to take the Mac out a little bit more. Do some more videos with it, have some fun with it, but both handguns are excellent handguns. Just wanted to show you the quick differences between the two, just so that way you can kind of get an idea on uh, what you're looking at. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching, and if you got any inputs to put in as far as uh, some of the differences that maybe I haven't covered, maybe I didn't go over between these two guns, feel free to make a video or leave a comment. So, all right, thanks a lot.